Well now, good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> and by jury, I mean that certain subgroup of the Israel of God described in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings, the B'nai Issachar. The descendants of Issachar who knew the times and knew what Israel had to do. That's what Koine Institute's uh, Strategic Perspective Conference summarizes in a single two-day gathering in what we do throughout the year. When we were looking at the ramp up to the conference uh, earlier this year, in fact in the spring, uh, Dr. Missler and I began to, to have a discussion concerning a, an undercurrent that I have no doubt whatsoever that you're all familiar with. It is that growing sense of unease, a malaise, a depression, a sense of lost heritage that makes us wonder if the United States will survive the end of days. Now, I'm known to be a contrarian with a bizarre sense of humor rooted <laughs> firmly between the twilight zone, Dilbert, and the far side. <laughs> so let me just tell you right off the bat that that is simply not so. I don't buy it for a minute, and there's a mechanical reason why the United States is not in prophecy. It surprises me that folk don't just cut to the chase. Biblical prophecy, particularly Revelation and Daniel, are what is known, as Peter Flint will be happy to tell you, apocalyptic literature, a genre that developed during the time between the Testaments. Apocalyptic literature, by definition, deals with only two subjects, Israel and its enemies. Is the United States Israel? No, despite the abuses of manifest destiny in American exceptionalism. We are not Israel. Are we their enemy? Well, forget Barack Obama. <laughs> we are not their enemy, at least not now, no. The reason why the United States is not in prophecy is the same reason Costa Rica and Zimbabwe aren't. <laughs> they are irrelevant to the topic. Think like a rabbi. Is it Israel? Is it Israel's enemy? No, then it's irrelevant. It's as simple as that. It's not deep. You don't have to get spiritual. You don't have to do anything. Just think like a rabbi, and it figures the whole thing out. <laughs> Thank you.